The in geology. This is about the the way the moon formed. The Earth, as we probably know, was collided with another planet, a protoplanet called Thea, which was almost as big as the Earth, 4.5 billion years ago, and part of that collision coalesced around the Earth to form our moon. But where did the rest of Thea go? Well, it's assumed that it sort of enveloped, enveloped by Earth, but Queen Yan, a PhD student from ASU, says there's these two blobs which sit below the Earth's crust in West Africa and the Pacific Ocean, and they straddle the, pore, the core like a pair of headphones. They're the largest things in the Earth's mantle. Uh, what they call these things, they're called low shear velocity provinces. And they know they're there, even though we've never drilled that far into the Earth. But seismologists know they're there because they can uh, they can sense them because they shake differently. They, when earthquakes, when the Earth moves, they are they know that there's two hard masses of hard rock on both sides of the earth under the mantle and Yuan believes that these two LS are the guts of the alien impactor the Thea, the original thing that hit earth um, there's been a lot of theories about where these come from Let's take a look at them. The low shear velocity provinces. Uh, here's a really cool animation on Wikipedia under low, large low shear velocity provinces. You can kind of see, oh, there's the Pacific Ocean and there's Africa. There's a big blob of it there. There's a big blob of it there. It kind of looks like a broken pieces of a planet just hiding inside Earth. This is very cool. So these this new theories. Here's another uh, graphic on fizz.org. Um, Thea hits the Earth. Pieces of it get stuck in the Earth. All the lighter rock formed around the Earth into a new moon, and now there's two large chunks of Thea, probably at least according to this theory, still inside the Earth. Let's see, astrophysicist Stephen Desch uh, was the co-author on this paper from ASU. Uh, they studied Apollo rocks from the moon and measured uh, ratios of hydrogen to deuterium, which is hydrogen, an isotope of hydrogen. Uh, light hydrogen was more abundant in the moon samples than in Earth. and uh, to capture so much light hydrogen, Thea must have been massive. I guess this is evidence that a large piece of it still is, exists. Such a large protoplanet would have separated into layers with an iron depleted core and an iron rich mantle. So they did some simulations. Simulations showed that mantle rocks uh, were. 1.3 to 3.5 percent denser than Earth's would survive and end up as piles near the core. The result lined up perfectly with the deuterium evidence. There you have it. It's a good theory. It's not necessarily true, but uh, it looks like we might have found pieces of the monstrous murderer that killed our original Earth and created the moon and gave us the earth we have today. Thank you, and fuck you, Thea.